circumstances of our life that may unfold even in the week to come. But certainly there are those moments that God seems in his providence and his sovereignty to bring into our life to forever change the course of our life. And Horatio and Anna Spafford certainly knew that type of a circumstance. Spafford was a successful lawyer in the Chicago area, worked very closely with a number of Christian ministries, was especially a good acquaintance of D.L. Moody and worked with him in many evangelistic meetings. But in 1871, Horatio and Anna Spafford's only son died, young son of just two years of age. Later that same year, all of his real estate holdings and all of his possessions were lost in the great Chicago fire. And he was a man who knew great difficulty and great turmoil uh, because of that. And yet he and his wife set about helping others who had lost similarly in the fire and began to reach out to those in such desperate need. They decided that in 1873 they would take a trip to England and help Moody in some work over there. And at the last minute, Spafford was called for some last minute business. And so he put his wife and four daughters on a sailing vessel, the Ville de Havre, and told them he would catch the next ship coming and would join them there. But the Ville de Havre was struck in the middle of the ocean by another ship and in 12 minutes had sunk completely to the bottom. Anna Spafford, unconscious, was rescued from the sea. And when she got to England, she sent back a telegram with the two words that forever changed Horatio Spafford's life, saved alone. She followed that with, what shall I do? Spafford joined her, of course, immediately in England. And over the course, as his heart was grieving, he took some stationery from a hotel of a building that he had owned and sat down and wrote the verses that the choir will sing this morning. What an amazing testimony to the grace and the peace that God gives in the storms of life and the confidence that we can have in him that though Satan should buffet, though trials should come, let this blessed assurance control that Christ has regarded my helpless estate and it is well, it is well with my soul. 